terrible bait. Yeah. It's the worst bait ever. I got a fish on right here, boys. Got him. Look how big. And you don't even have to long arm it. You see what I'm saying? Tiny hands. Oh, I got a fish on. I was sitting in the water. Wasn't even using it. I caught a fish. That's right. Mystery tackle box. Let's go. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. This is the Bass Pro Edition. They've got an Elite, they've also got a regular. This is the middle tier. They've also got a trout box, they've got a panfish box. You name it, they probably got it. And what they do is send you a variety of lures every month straight to your door for you to test out, try. Some of them are stuff you may have used before that are tried and true, and some of them are completely brand new to the market. You've never heard of them, and they're let you figure out if you like them or not. And if you guys are interested in picking up your first Mystery Tackle Box, you can get it for as little as $10 by using the code BFISHING at checkout. Um, remember to support those who support this channel. Go ahead, pick up a Mystery Tackle Box. Now, let's crack this thing open. All right, I'm going in no particular order here, but first we've got a square bill by Vexen. Hopefully that thing will catch some fish. I like the paint job on it. We've also got this Weston Magic Minnow. This is one of those that I haven't used, but I have heard of. Um, I'm gonna explain this one on the water. This one's got some unique features you guys are gonna wanna check out. Stick with the moving baits. We've got a spinner bait by Castaic. Um, a nice little double willow leaf silver blade right there. I like that paint job on it too. I like the skirt on that. That thing should catch fish for sure. We've also got some soft plastics. We've got the Tiki Snake by Wave Fishing. Uh, it's like a little lizard with no legs. Um, I I'm probably gonna call it that, just like a little lizard bait with no legs. And then we've also got the, by Cream Lures, the Speed Screamer. Um, this one is super unique. I'll show you the features on the water. And uh, we've also got, oh, we've actually got an underspin in here by Mustad, little Mustad underspin. Nothing too fancy, but always tried and true, sure to catch some fish. I like the little actually bait keeper on it. Y'all see that? It's got like a double bait wire keeper there. That'll keep the bait on all day, which is super helpful. And we also got a pair of four aught mustache hooks. That's what's in the box. I know a lot of y'all like this, so I'm gonna show you. There's the sticker. Nice little sticker. Uh, that's, that's the box. Now, I'm gonna take you fast forward right now to tomorrow morning when me and Chris are gonna hit the water in the boat, so let's go. All right, folks, I wanna talk to y'all really quick about this really cool bait. The Weston, we'll do this real quick. So it's, it, obviously it has this little paddle tail on it, but that's what the head looks like. The head is like super interesting. It makes it where you can actually change out the hook. So I've actually upgraded this to a three aught. It comes with a two aught, just seems a little short to me. I wanna give that some extra length, but where I'm gonna show you how to re-rig this when you get a new one. So you're actually just gonna push it in. You're gonna fill the plastic, pop over this. It's like your little bait keeper. And I'm gonna show you a little extra thing that I like to do on something like this to make sure that that bait stays in place. So I'm just gonna crunch it on there and it should be should be on. I just felt it look, pop right there. It's sitting nice and even with the head right there. I'm actually gonna take just a little bit of, a little bit of super glue and I'm gonna dab it right there on the head of that soft plastic and just press it just so I've got a nice good connection and that's not gonna come off. And you're probably wondering, how does this hook get in there? Well, it's pretty simple. You come through the belly, you can actually see in there, or you should be able to see there's the little wire where the hook goes on. We're just gonna slide that hook over. I'll we'll slide it over, get it on there and pull. You should hear it snap, just like that. Boom, the hook is in there. And we're just gonna belly hook that right up the back nice and easy and there you go just like that it's all good cool thing about this is look the hook is actually mobile so it gives it's going to give this bait a ton more action uh, as opposed to having you know the stiff hook through the uh through the jig head itself so this is it's going to move a lot of water so hopefully we'll get bit on this pretty quick let's go boys all right starting off with the vex and deep thud today it's a little square bill See if I can tease some bass. It's a terrible bait already. It doesn't run. 
It doesn't fish well. Look, it something's wrong with this bait. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't reel right. Watch this. It looks like it's fouled. It's not though, that's the problem. One hour later. All right, so I'm gonna fish with this little like lizard worm looking thing from wave fishing. It's on a little Texas rig, a little tech exposed. We got a lot of structure and cover in the water. See if we can't get something to take me up on this. Got one. Got one. Got one on that little bait. Oh, there we go. All right. I got one on that little little wave bait. I'm also using the hook that came in the box too, that little mustad hook. Nice, nice little largey. Nice one. Yes, sir. Actually, I'm gonna throw him in the weld. That's correct, sir. Let's keep it going. So this guy's down. I'm actually gonna stick on the soft plastics for a second too. I think I'm gonna go with that other soft plastic, which looks like it can be done in multiple ways this little cream soft plastic it can be used on a texas rig you can swim it it's got the tails to be swam it's got little paddles right there it's got little paddles right there on the arms that have a lot of movement i'm hoping though i'm gonna get bit on the fall that's what i'm that's what i'm hoping for this is that as it's falling it's gonna it's gonna get me nibbled there's one Spinner bait got it done. Got a little bit of wind, just throwing it off those rocks. Spinner bait's done. We got this B. We got this now. Got one in the boat by the old goat. Dang, I'm throwing that thing a mile. Terrible bait. It's the worst bait ever. It wasn't even foul. This thing ain't fouled hooked. I've adjusted it all I think I could do. I've gone both ways and it ain't made it any better. If I go, if I reel it really slow, it won't go crazy. I mean, I just got barely turning. This is not a fast reel. It's a big piece of plastic poop. <laughs> Put this monstrosity down. I'm gonna switch to your little swim bait here. That'll catch really far, just let me know. Okay. Got one on the western swim. Oh, uh, good one out there, baby. There go. That's a good fish. Woo! The western swim paid off on the twirling derby. That's a nice fish there, boy. Look at that. That's a nice fish, bud. All right, we'll let her go. I, just, I mean, I just don't think we're gonna get bit on that crankbait. I'm not using that crankbait again. I'll just let you know that right well, now. Well, I know. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna get the slam. Yeah, I know. We're not. Yeah, we're not gonna get the slam just because of that one. But we can catch more fish on those baits. I think. I think the under's gonna work. So just as I was about to call an audible and say, "Let's just fish soft plastic," Chris goes out and pulls it in on the uh, that Weston bait. which is super, super nice. So the one thing I like about MTV so much is that they always include a bait that you've never seen before, something new to the market. And that bait is extremely interesting for the fact that it's got that hinge on the hook. So I'm glad we were able to, to complete that. And I, hopefully y'all got a little bit of how to rig it um, at the first part of this video. But I'm back on soft plastics. I think now that we're a little bit into the day, and the sun's getting a little higher. I just don't see them chasing the moving bait by, uh, Chris was able to pick a couple off on that, that that bait, but I don't know. He's gonna try to fish the underspin now, see if he can't get bit on that. Um, I'm telling you that Vexen bait though, something's wrong with ours. 
and uh, it's just it's not gonna it's not gonna work i got a fish on right here boys got him let's flip him uh, that's 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 your big boy right there we gotta do a little bit of minor surgery on him he's not too bad though oh, i got a fish Whew, that cream lure is doing some work, boys. Creaming them. It's called creaming them. And look, the thing is, is this is the second time I've done this, and they're inhaling it. Like, Gobble. I think it's this bait. Like, I know what you're gonna say is that I'm not setting the hook early enough, but I promise you, it's the bait. He hit it on the fall and ran directly toward me. Big one just splashed up there. Yeah, I saw that. You can go chase him. I think it's getting active. Might be turning on. Oh, I got a fish on. I was sitting in the water. Wasn't even using it. I caught a fish. Oh, get out the motor. <laughs> get on the under. Get on the underspin. And he swallowed it to his googer. Googer giggle. That's a nice big fat bass. There we go. All right, there's mine. We actually doubled up. Like, Chris has got the big one. That underspin was just sitting on the bottom. Like, you were helping me film. He was helping me film on the big camera when I got my fish on that cream lure. And boom, he got, that's a that's a nice fish. Let me put this in the well and see if I can't help you, buddy. He's way in there. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. Well, I have to just cut it off. No, I got it. Really? Yeah, I'm about to get it. Look at you. You got it. That's impressive. I'll be impressed. I think I got it. Got it. Woo! No blood. Look at that fish, dude. That's a nice one. Here, hold that one. All right, we're finally on the big camera. Look how big that fish is. So he inhaled that underspin. All we could see was the head of it. We were able to get it out. You just got to flip it, go through their gills. Let's, uh, let's see his mouth. Let's show everybody. No blood. No blood whatsoever. You got to take care of these fish. That is a nice fish, Chris. On the underspin, off the bottom, not even really fishing it. I'm telling you, it's not a moving bait bite today. <laughs> We're gonna have to slow it down. Put this baby in some water. There you go. Glad to let that one go. Fish. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Nope. I think I still got him. He's swimming toward me. Yep, got him. Little, little stinker. I think this is gonna be the dink of the day. Going real far out. Right. Wait, hang on. I can fix. I can fix the dinkiness of him. All right. So when you catch a small fish like this, and you need like a thumbnail or a picture, what you need are these tiny hands. It's super, super simple to do. I know it's super windy. Y'all can probably barely hear me. But now look. Look, look how big. And you don't even have to long arm it. You see what I'm saying? Tiny hands, that's all it takes. Get that little thumb in the fish's mouth. Oh yeah, that's what you need. That's what you need right there. Thanks, little buddy. Bye. All right, folks, so straight up, this video is actually supposed to be on the Mystery Tackle Box channel, and for several reasons in editing, uh, it just it didn't make the cut. Like, it, it, it wasn't very good. Um, there's a lot left to be desired. For my channel, I think it was great, but for a polished MTV video, not so much. So it is on our channel. But this is why this is a good thing for you guys. Uh, as with all of my mystery tackle box videos that show up over here, not only do we unbox it, we missed a slam by one bait because that, that Noken square bill is just it's not it, as the kids would say. We give the boxes away. So if you want to win the box we fished with, there are still plenty of good lures in there. Um, go ahead, leave a comment below, hit the like button and smash the subscribe button, hit the ding dong notifications because I will announce the winner in my next video. So if you do those three things, you're entered to win and uh, check back on the next video. Notification bell, it'll send you an email. You can see in the description if you want or not and I will ship it directly to you. You're gonna wanna get that mainly for the spinnerbait and the soft plastics, that speed screamer. Gosh, I fell in love with that thing on the water. And Chris actually liked the, uh, the little magic minnow. 
because it moved a lot of water. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video as they do with all of their their stuff and having me as a sponsored angler. Remember, go support the people who support me. Pick up your first box for as little as $10 by using the code BFISHING. And uh, yeah, there you go. We'll catch you on the next one, folks. Later.